Thomas's Christmas party. It was Christmas on the island of Sodor. All the engines were working hard. Thomas and Toby were busy carrying people and parcels up and down the branch line. Everyone was happy. Only the coaches, Annie and Clarabel, were complaining. It's always the same before Christmas, they groaned. We feel so full. We feel so full. Oh, come on, said Thomas as he puffed out of the station. Where's your festive spirit? Leave that to the others. All we get is hard work, said the coaches. Cheer up, said Thomas. Christmas Day is almost here. By the side of the track was a lonely little cottage with a familiar figure standing by the gate waving to them. It's Mrs. Kindly, whistled Thomas. Peep, peep, happy Christmas. However heavy the loads, Thomas always felt better for seeing Mrs. Kindly. Christmas just wouldn't be Christmas without Mrs. Kindly, he said, and puffed thoughtfully on. When work was over, Thomas went to see the other engines. It was a scene of great celebration. Their coats had been polished and they felt very proud of themselves. Huh, said Gordon, just look at us. Your driver will have to work fast to get you to look as smart as us. Never mind that, replied Thomas. I've something important to say. Do you realize it's a whole year since Mrs. Kindly saved us from a nasty accident? Remember when she was ill in bed and... Yes, of course, interrupted Edward. You told us how she waved her red dressing gown out of her window to warn you about a landslide on the line ahead. And you and Toby gave her presents, Percy joined in. And the fat controller sent her to Bournemouth to get better. But, said James and Henry together, the rest of us never really thanked her properly. Exactly, said Thomas triumphantly. So now I think we should all give her a special Christmas party. The big engines were delighted, and so were their drivers and firemen. We'd like that, they said. A party will be fun. We'll ask the fat controller. The drivers felt sure that the fat controller would agree, as indeed he did. A party for Mrs. Kindly, said the fat controller. What a splendid idea, Thomas. Mrs. Kindly is a very good friend to us all. Everyone was looking forward to the party, and the engines were soon making plans. Then suddenly silence fell. The fat controller had bad news. The weather's changed, he said. Mrs. Kindly is all snowed up. Toby says he will help to rescue her. You must help too, Thomas. There's no party unless you do. Thomas hated snow, but he said bravely, I'll try, sir. We must rescue her. We must. There's a good engine, smiled the fat controller. You and Toby will manage splendidly. The men came to fit Thomas with a snowplow. Thomas and Toby set off to the rescue.
Thomas charged the snowdrifts fiercely. Sometimes he swept them aside, sometimes they stuck fast. When they stuck, Thomas and Toby drew back so that men from the bank could loosen the hard-packed snow. And on they went again. near the cottage, they could go no further. Look at that! exclaimed Thomas's fireman. Peep, peep, peep! Here we are, whistled Thomas. The snow was so deep round the house that the answering wave had to come from an upstairs window. So are we, came a voice from behind the cottage. That's Terence, said Thomas excitedly. He's come to help too. Sure enough, Terence had a snow plant and was working hard to clear a path to the railway line and safety. At long last, the rescue was complete. Percy arrived to take the tired workmen home. Terence said goodbye to Mrs. Kindly, and promised to take care of her cottage as he watched them all set off. The engines made good time. No more snow had fallen, but the yard was dark when they arrived at Tidmouth. The shed doors were shut. There was silence and there was no one to be seen. Thomas's heart sank. Then suddenly all the lights went on. What a marvellous sight awaited Mrs. Kindly. Well done, said the fat controller, smiling happily. I'm really proud of you all. Mrs. Kindly especially thanked the smaller engines. Thomas and Toby are old friends, she said. And now, Percy, you are my friend too. Percy was so pleased that he bubbled over. Three cheers for Mrs. Kindly, he cried. Peep, 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 they all whistled. The fat controller held his ears, but everyone else laughed and joined in. Right, everyone, he said. One, two, three. Happy Christmas, Mrs. Kindly. All the engines whistled and everyone began to sing. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thomas the Tank Engine and his friends thought it was the best Christmas ever. And Mrs. Kindly could think of nowhere she would rather live than here with them on the island of Sodor. Mm -hmm. 